All right, here we go. I'm going to channel my, my best Bryce Castillo. Starting in three, two. Oh, wait, I just realized nobody hears that part. We're, it's always fun. It's always just us, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, okay, so behind yeah. the scenes, Bryce is always... All right, starting in. All right, three, no, no, no. Let's start it like we would normally two? start a show. Oh, actually, can you normally, actually start all right, it? Wait, wait, wait. All right, so before Bryce says it, it's just me being like, like, fuck, when are we going to stop doing this show? This is just... <laughs> It's just like, how many times are we? All right, are we ready? Okay. All right, gonna go in three, two. Oh! Hells yeah! It's Saturday Night Live at Dragon Con, and it is time for Night Attack, bringing you the best of the worst of the internet ever since anybody had cared. Hello, beautiful folks. I'm Brian Brushwood, joined right here by my side. It's none other than the internet's own Justin Robert Young. Hey, buddy. I, oh, crap. Brian. What? We're doing a show. Yeah, we probably should have planned this out a little bit better. I have, a, I have a soundboard, though. I could just... Uh, Shit's get way too complicated for me. You could just have uh, f almost former President Barack Obama pipe in. Yeah, that shows you how long we've been doing this show. Wait, remember when Obama was president? <laughs> uh, oh, calm down, Rush Limbaugh. Uh, all right. Joining us, the one and only, the inimitable, Scott Sigler, ladies and gentlemen! I love all of you very, very much. But you wanna know what? Yeah, I do. I feel like this panel is a little light. It's a little white. <laughs> How about this? How about we bring on two of our favorite musical acts that we have ever had on this very show. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to turn inside out, cheering for Flint Flossie and whatchamacallit of Turquoise Chief. And by the way, they are flagged by one of their newest signees. That is the bespectacled Pierre Kashmir, ladies and gentlemen. Dragon Con, man. How's, how's it been, Justin? Uh, I don't know, man. Let me know when this bender's over and uh, <laughs> check my phone. Ah, uh, jeez. Because I am wasted. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not. Although if I was, that's what I'd say. I mean, okay, first of all, I don't know where you were when we met, but you definitely have had three beers in the last hour since then. So, yeah. math. And then, yeah. Well, also, all right, so real talk. Brian uh, is selling, plugs right off the top, is selling at scamstuff.com. Yeah. Is it the Rogue's Brew? Oh, shit, yeah. Who, br who brought this for us? Uh, dude, Waffleopagus. Matt, uh, first of all, thank you for getting me a hotel room. <laughs> uh, as we discussed, as we discussed on the show last week, there was a moment where it's like where where I, I just in the middle of stress everything on the phone, I just say, Matt, we've known each other for years, right? Would it be weird for me to just give you my credit card number and trust that you're gonna book me a room <laughs> at Dragon Con? And so, he did. So you guys are selling this, and you guys are doing a big toast it's a tomorrow. Kit. Yeah, a okay, kit. so it's, yeah. a, it's a kit, and it comes with a recipe. By the way, is Tall Beer Dude here in the audience? No. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> he, can, he can literally touch the ceiling. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Slender man in the house. <laughs> <laughs> he's so gigantic. I feel like he's gonna do like one of those Lord of the Rings. Like he's like throwing something easily, and then you realize it's an elephant when it comes <laughs> to the frame. <laughs> so Michael Lipton put together a recipe. I was like, "Hey man, if if uh, the modern rogue had a beer, what would it be? I want it to be something timeless, something that you would drink in an old style uh, ale house during the Revolution, but it tastes as sweet today." And he was like, "You wanted American brown ale?" I'm like, "You're goddamn right, I do." <laughs> 
And so he puts together some oats, uh, some barley, some fish eggs. Uh, I, may, I, I didn't pay a lot of attention. Yeah. And a little bit of luck. <laughs> but uh, at any rate, we, we put together a kit, and, and uh, we didn't know, like, like, we started selling it last month, and we're like, uh, Labor Day, bros, let's see. And this is, this is a batch put together by Matt Waffleophagus, uh, fantastic. And we're going to do the Rogue's Toast tomorrow. Um, so where, where are we going to do that? Where are we going to do that? Yeah. When am I in charge of that? <laughs> Just uh, literally anybody but me. Where's a place we can all meet tomorrow? Hilton 202? Is, wait, for reals? 12th floor of the Hilton. 12th floor. Tequila Town. That's a better idea. 12th floor of the Hilton. It's called Tequila Town. Okay. Right, okay. Top floor of the Hilton is from now on Tequila Town. And that's where... 12th floor. 12th floor. Same fucking message, but 12th floor. It's fine. It's fine. How about this? You have inspired so many people to make their own beer. And I don't know how many people here have friends that are into making their own beer. But I've been lucky enough to be friends with a few of these people. And there is one thing that at bare minimum, it takes them a year to get good at. And that is not making their beer to be literal knockout juice. <laughs> Hey, when Where's, they handed this, they was definitely like, it's a little stronger than I think you intended. No. Here's how I know that it was way too strong. Because Matt, the guy who brewed it, uh, tells me at the beginning of one of my panels, he's like, hey, I think the altitude's a little messed up on this. It's a little heavier than, uh, than I thought it was. 20 minutes later, hey, man, I think the altitude's a little messed up on this. It's a little heavier than it should have been. Half an hour later, hey, man, this, I know. <laughs> You're blacked out drunk. <laughs> All right. All right. We, 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 we have a lot of stuff. But before we move forward, though, yes. can, can we take a moment and uh -huh. deconstruct the magic, and I mean that in the literal sense of the word, that happened last night? Because since last week's episode, in the post show, we were chatting and bullshitting, and I made a dare to you yeah. that you should appear in my magic show. Yeah. And, uh, and, and for, uh, I might have to lean on Bryce to remind you. So we thought we were coming up with a brand new idea. We started riffing on the idea of an all set up magician. No payoff, just all the process with never an actual magic trick. And as we're discussing it, we're going on for like five minutes, and both of us are thinking like, oh man, this is a really good idea. And then Bryce, as if he's watching two guys with Alzheimer's says, you guys literally did a half hour on this last year. <laughs> and we're like, we did? And we're like, he's like, yeah. And we're like, was it funny? He's like, well, yeah. He's like, all right. All right. <laughs> then we've been researching it for 12 months. <laughs> But, so we did, we did it last night, and, and now keep in mind, this is a magic show. People are in this exact hall expecting a magic show. Uh, Kurt Anderson does magic. I do magic. And then I pause everything to say, ha, take a look at this. <laughs> and uh, Justin was convinced that he could get three minutes maximum. So he gets out on stage, and nine and a half minutes later... <laughs> I well, have to cut one of my routines yeah. in order to get out of the room on time. I bumped Mr. Happy Pants last <laughs> night. Uh, I think I just turned the room on me. Yeah. Jesus. Do not fuck with Happy Pants. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, no, it was... Uh, uh, I did not think we could get more than three minutes because, again, I was literally wasting people's time. Uh, <laughs> The idea was artfully wasting everybody's uh, precious time and uh, it was a uh, woo for wasting time. That's, uh, no, no, no. It was, it was uh, exceptional and the videos up online on, on, uh, on, on the BBPedia Twitter. Uh, I encourage everybody to watch it. However, we got so much stuff to do here. All right, you know what? I say, I say we, we talked about it one way, but I'm feeling the energy. I think everybody's super primed. I say we go straight into... Our con exclusive live. Are you saying, Brian, that we play the world's most competitive storytelling game? Don't get brodied. Yeah. All right. Now let me explain to our panelists here. Here's how don't get brodied works. 
This is, again, competitive storytelling. Sure, there's a lot of these podcasts out here that are about a, a, a tale well told, and it takes some time, and they build. Uh-uh, not here. The second that one of us finds it fully boring, they are, you are bored by it. We go Roman uh, uh, gladiator uh, oh, okay. thumb. Okay. As soon as one of us goes full thumbs down, right. they're done. The person who has the best time right. at the end has the best story of Dragon Con. Yeah, uh, speaking of which, you got your, you got your, I was gonna say Switchblade. <laughs> stopwatch. Uh, here, let me get a stopwatch reset. Okay. Start down and come down, what do we do? Oh no, they're doing it. They're gonna tell a story, and the moment, and, you, and you'll notice, you'll notice, you know, we're getting close, there'll be times that there's an ebb and a flow. As things <laughs> ebb, we're going to give a thumbs down, but the moment somebody goes full six o'clock, it's all over for all them. Right, all, right. all right. Speaking of which, everybody who has a remotely interesting story, we don't care if you think you're going to thrive, or survive, or fail, stand up, get in the line right here. Here, actually, here. Uh, CJ, come, you, no. You, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. not coming in first. You're not coming in first. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Okay, all right. Here, everybody get in the line right here in the center aisle here. They also look drunk. I'm just saying. A little bit. Yeah, they're a little All right. Hairy. Keep in mind, keep in mind, you're going to tell your story. And if you hear this sound, that's bad. It means that you've been broodied. All right, let's go in order. All right, ready. Who do we got here, buddy? What's your name? My name is Greg. All right, we have Greg. Uh, Greg, where are you from? Uh, Washington, D.C. All right, Greg, do me a favor, buddy. Don't get Brody. You're Clock's on. on. All right, I worked at uh, Walt Disney World in the monorails. I was on the unload station. The uh, guy uh, got off the train, said to me, look, I'm gonna be really sick. And I was like, okay, cool. I pull the trash can, let it throw up in it. I turn around, the train's gone, and people are yelling, oh my God, what is he doing? Literally pants to his ankles, taking a shit. <laughs> what? I was like, okay. the universe was falling out of this man's asshole. Just Spraying, and it's just like, it's the most <laughs> disgusting, audible thing. Uh, and I'm like, dude, what are you? Oh my god, I'm gonna get fired. What the hell? Uh, his wife comes up with a stroller and says, Oh my god, Brian, what the hell are you doing? I was like, Oh my god, I'm so sorry, he does this all the time. And I was like, What the fuck? <laughs> so he takes his pants off, throws his underwear away, wipes his butt with his shirt, <laughs> throws, throws that actually, away, <laughs> buttons back up, grabs his stroller and just walks down. <laughs> and uh, later on, I had to call my boss and say, um, yeah, some guy took a shit in the trash can. What do we, is that protocol? What do we do about that? And then some young uh, girl, young CP, uh, came by to clean it all up. And she was our second day on the job at uh, oh, Disney. Oh, oh. All right, Greg. We didn't say oh. anything at all. We just let her, like, see ya. They gotta go. <laughs> all wow. right, there we go. Holy cow. <laughs> Greg. One minute and 15 seconds. We have never had someone come out of the gate with that much time. Wow, that was, that, that is a strong, a strong play. Uh, that was a good shit story right there, actually. That, that was cool. <laughs> yeah, uh, 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 Watcha, uh, how, did you, how did you rate that one? Um, it was the Adventures of the Shit Tales. It was pretty um, interesting right there. <laughs> never, I rated it half, it was right there, it was half no. <laughs> well, considering the consistency, that would be appropriate. <laughs> Zing! Hey, buddy, what's your name? Hey, my name is Chris. All right, Chris, do me a favor, buddy. Don't get Brody. You got it. Okay, so this guy sitting right back here, Alex Fulmer, stand up. That guy has massive gauges in his ears. We used to be roommates. I came home one night very intoxicated from the bar, and I saw a padlock in this man's ear. And the padlock didn't have a key. It had a combination, and no one knew the combination. <laughs> we called the locksmith, and the locksmith says... Hey, we can't come take the lock off because I will end your friend. And I was like, how the fuck did you get a lock on your ear? Turns out that our friend Cheston uh, was there very drunk. He gets very drunk four times a year. We call this quarterly drunk. And this was only the beginning of the quarterly drunk night. Okay, so Cheston is so quarterly drunk that he plays in a band. His bass player is on the couch. He's just beating the shit out of him when I get there. This, this friend is... is He's yelling, Jackson City bitches. They're like, what is Jackson City? He's like, one time we were on tour and he was just beating me up, so this is retribution. <laughs> and so, so he chases him into Alex Fulmer's room 
And when we get there, he puts him in the closet, starts beating him up in the closet, puts him through the wall. And he fucking goes out of the wall. He's like, what was that? You can do better. Show me your best. <laughs> so at that point, we're like, this is not OK. We need to put this guy to bed. So we take him upstairs, and he starts just fighting all of us off. This guy makes period accurate leather plate mail armor, and he's fighting us off of him, OK? We actually, by the way, this is a side story, but everybody's all thumbs up right now. We have a picture of us that was on the front page of Reddit for two days, where this guy is kicking him in the chest in his leather plate armor. Oh! Yeah. That's OK. You won't get to hear the Louis C.K. All right, the bad bit. news is, you got brodied when you went through the circle jerk of mentioning you were on Reddit. But the good news is, you're the reigning champion at one minute and 50 seconds. Well done. Uh, thank you. Uh, no, 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 yeah, I'll, I'll toast you. Here cheers, you cheers, cheers. Um, all right, all right, number one, uh, uh, I think Flint Flossie might have come out of his skin cheering for that. <laughs> that was fun. I respect his delivery, you know what I'm saying? You, didn't he, after that, and then he did this. It was, it was convincing, man. He had me, man. He was engaging. I liked it. And the best part about it was, and for the audio listeners, so he's pointing to his friend, and his friend is just he's silent just bobbing the whole time. That was funny. His friend had played a good role in my, in my two thumbs up. It was just he like, was, like, so anyway, he's about to get shot in the face. And, like, he just, and he looks back, and he's like, yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to get shot. That was me, yeah. Uh, all right, sir, what's your name? Uh, Will Wheaton in the audience, ladies and gentlemen. It's very exciting. It's a hell of a cosplay. Drinking a Natty Lights. <laughs> my name's Colin from Winston Salem, North Carolina. Uh, woo. Oh, Jesus. All a lot right. of Colin there fans in the audience. All right, Colin, do me a favor, everybody. Don't get brodied. Hey, Alex, stand back up. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Same guy! He's cheating. Nah, he's cheating. He's cheating. <laughs> so we're about we are two and a half weeks away from Dragon Con, right? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna stay with my friend Alex's buddy, Pete. He lives in this rich ass neighborhood. I don't know the name of it. Uh, I think Usher lives there, maybe, possibly. We get a phone call a couple days ago, the pipe bursts in his house. We get to another place. They're gone. Oh, wait. Oh! oh. We got brody oh. Jackson City, bitches. <laughs> oh, yeah. Slow first step. So, yeah, no, you got, you got to come out of the game. I swear fast. to God, Stacy, if you know that guy in the back, this is going to be the best <laughs> night ever. <laughs> All right, Stacy, do us a favor. Don't get brody. All right, this is fairly mundane. I'm probably gonna get ready, but um, uh, this is a story. About uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you gotta come out the gates <laughs> on fire. We call that burying the lead, okay? <laughs> you, what are you doing? We're entering a race to be bored, and you went straight for the fucking. You came out of the block strong, sister. <laughs> Shit. The good news uh, is, the, yeah, get the, in the back of the line. You yeah, may get another chance. The, the, I don't know. All the right. good news is, your prophecy came true. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out you're Nostradamus. <laughs> All right. Now this, just so people for new listeners to this show, Crunchy is 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 a a, a flash legend. that tattoo, girl. Uh, show the world. Show your Diamond Club tattoo right yeah. there. Yeah, the Go diamond flash out, flash him. And by the way, do you realize what she's cosplaying as? Uh, Crunchy? She's cosplaying as a bottle of sriracha. Oh. That is exploding from the top of uh, her head right into your face. God damn, I just had a flashback. <laughs> yeah. uh, Brian got a bottle of sriracha sprayed on his face at a show in, in uh, Austin. Uh, this is a weird show. Uh, <laughs> keep up. Uh, all right, Crunchy, don't get... Brody. So a few friends of mine are trying to convince me to go to the bar after work, even though I work at six in the morning. And <laughs> I'm a responsible adult, so naturally I go. And I figure, <laughs> what can a few drinks hurt? 
So after two, I figured out when I'm yakking in the bushes that I haven't eaten yet that day, and uh, the drinks there are really big. And I'm like, I'm in no condition to drive, so I get a ride home. That's the easy part. Uh, hey, listen, on another night, on another night, that would have went for a little bit longer. But we just had you know, a, a spastic Henry Rollins, uh, you know, <laughs> get stuff up here. Not you, Will Wheaton, your friend. <laughs> I always prefer to lead with vomit or shit in a can, e either way. <laughs> Uh, yeah, right, no, this is, we, had, we had a strong murderer's row, so just so you know, if it ain't the best thing you've ever said at the first part of the first sentence, You're then just be in skip to it. All right, hey, buddy, what's your name? My name is Marcus, and I was, uh, I was on Don't Get Ready last year. Heck yeah, so no, all right, wait, wait, save it, Marcus, get ready. Do me a favor, everybody. <laughs> Marcus, you know I love you, Don't Get Brody. Okay, so this happened at the same school uh, that I got and, uh, cutting my foot and eating the flesh off of it. <laughs> so... <laughs> So, good. so what happened? <laughs> so, so like here, so here like at the school, it. we have we have a really friendly janitor that helps out every kid around there, and it's, he's pretty good. He bring he he kind of wants to interview me for some reason, so I just kind of talk to him for like five minutes what? about Super Mario Brothers, and he gets really bored, and he just tells me, "Just go away." And it's like, okay, what the fuck is that supposed to be? Okay, so two days later, after I was trying to watch scrambled porn. Uh, <laughs> You said I, the right words. Go I, ahead. I, 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 accident, I accidentally turned onto the news to actually see the same like sketch of the janitor in a courtroom saying that he has apparently been arrested for molestation charges. What? <laughs> now. Oh, no. oh he brought it up. Oh, they brought it up. Oh. This side of the seconds. table's like molestation. Fuck that shit. Get him out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Get him out of here. Meanwhile, like assholes, there are three dudes with a big thumbs up like, molestation. Yeah. This is great. <laughs> I'm all for porn. Narrow <laughs> miss. Yeah. Narrow yeah. miss. <laughs> Tell you right. what, man, sliding Collar. doors. Right. Collar, what's your name? Uh, Thomas. Thomas, do me a favor, buddy. Don't, Don't get brody. Get brodied. So when I was at Florida State, two of us dropped acid, my roommate and I, and the other one, <laughs> and the, uh, the, uh, the one who was totally sober was like, hey, let's drive down the Georgia State Line. So we drive down the Georgia State Line, come back, and on our way, we stopped by this place called Quincy, Florida, which is a small town, not a lot of people there, and we notice a lot of racist cowboy looking dudes. We go around, we see that there's weird shops that are abandoned, some of them have weird religious iconography we couldn't recognize, and, and there was a little plaque that said dedicated to Confederate soldiers who died, and mind you, two of them are, what, both of my friends are Asian, and they were just really weirded out by everything that was going on. We walk around, we notice a place that Ah, you took too long! Shit, somebody made a sign that says Brody. That's amazing. <laughs> that is incredible. All right, you want to know what? Just because we have so much to do, uh, 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 CJ is going to be the last, uh, the last guy here. Uh, we need to set this up. Uh, oh, come CJ, on. CJ, how many years have you played... Don't get Brody. Just at Dragon Con or all the cons all together? All the cons all together. This is like eight, I think. <laughs> His eighth time. His eighth time at uh, the rodeo. CJ, how many times have you won Don't Get Brody? <clears throat> I can neither confirm nor deny that I've never won a good <laughs> uh, No, no, no. No, no, no. No, you get a no, no. You get a no, no. All right. It's my first year all over again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. all right. CJ, do us a favor, buddy. Don't get, get Brody. All right. So last year on this very stage, well, downstairs, I told a story about walking in on in a sewer on a guy giving a fellatio to a dead person. This, <sighs> is, this is that same <laughs> exact school. <laughs> what the fuck? I, I don't want to hear this. Same exact school. This. So, slight setup. Film school in Columbus, Ohio. So, there's that. All right. So, um, we were making music videos for our uh, for a project. The di the director of our video decided to take this entire this name of the song completely to literally. She's so high. That 1998 song that nobody remembers except for us weird 90s kids. Uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> you better so, no, 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 no. 
The thumb was going down after I heard hey, the fellatio. You came out of the block strong. Oral sex to corpses. You yeah, had my attention. Cool. Yeah. Mine's too. And Mine's now you too. have my interest, is what I was saying. <laughs> and I then the you worst? blew it. You blew it. <laughs> You had it all in your hands and you blew it. All or right. she blew it, either way. Oh, wait a minute. Um, you like, cannot follow somebody blew a dead person with she's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. Uh, who was our minute and 50 hanger honor? Stand up. What's your name again? Chris. Let's hear it for Chris. Let's Winter up, don't Chris. get Brody. Thank Jackson much, City, man. bitch. Jackson City. Jackson City. All right. All right. What's uh, next? Uh, yeah, you want to go? You want to go into Patrick Delahanty's joint? Yeah, this is a con favorite. Uh, it is called PowerPoint Roulette. And here is uh, how it works. Do we want to uh, uh, divvy it up into teams or just do everybody individually? No, let's go individually. Individually is what I'm told we want to do. Um, <clears throat> so here's, here's the thing with PowerPoint Roulette. We're going to give a presentation using slides we have never seen on a subject we've never talked about. <laughs> These slides were prepared by one of Chat Realm's uh, oldest and greatest members, uh, Patrick Delahanty. <laughs> Uh, why don't we begin, uh, Justin? You want to start start things off here? You can see over to the left. We got sure, this here. yeah. So yeah. Uh, the rules are: we have to pick a subject that somebody wrote a paper on in high school. So let me hear who who wrote a paper that they wanted. Uh, you can throw a few ideas. A what, topic. What, what, what's yeah. yours? Who boy? Uh, Martin Luther King. Moving on. Real moving serious. on. Well, over serious. here, over here, over here. Moving on. Tough crowd, tough crowd. Wait, wait, what's that? That's a little deep, right? That's a little deep. The Loch Ness Monster? What about this? Oh, Jesus. Whoa. So we've got, uh, hey, Justin. <laughs> we've got the Either Loch Ness monster, monster or abortion. Or Martin Luther King. The Loch Ness Monster it is, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. <laughs> All right. Justin Robert Young, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna slide down. Unfortunately, I gotta I gotta slide these uh, manually. But uh, you want to give this presentation? Uh, yeah, uh, About five slides a piece, I believe. Uh, can you verify? Is that correct? All right, five slides. You get five slides. Begin your presentation now. Uh, hello and welcome. Oh, by the way, just say just say next slide when it's time for the next slide. And you guys are gonna vote for who has the best presentation. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this presentation of the Loch Ness Monster. Next slide. <laughs> Thank God we didn't do immigration. <laughs> As you can see, interest in the Loch Ness Monster is exploding. Non-traditional markets like Mexico, San Diego, Houston, Dallas, and Chicago are all catching Ness fever. <laughs> Next slide. <laughs> Some people are becoming so excited that they're throwing brash fish through the walls, yeah. hoping that maybe this will lure Nessie from his home in Scotland to their very town. Oh, what scamps. <laughs> Next slide. <laughs> but don't think this is just some millennial craze. People of all ages are getting to Nessie however they can. Oh. This local hero... <laughs> he believes that only by stacking a pile of wood and sitting on it suggestively uh, can he attract Nessie. He is, of course, flanked by his colorful co-hosts, 
uh, mad as hell, Maddie. <laughs> and please don't shit on my pile of wood, Sheila. <laughs> Next slide. I think it's plain as day that when it comes to Loch Ness Monsters, this is on fire. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Justin Robert Young talking about the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> Scott Sigler, you ready yes. to present? Uh, yes, I'm ready to do this. Okay. Uh, Although I really like having to follow up him. That's great. <laughs> He's what would be called, excuse me, he'd be called your closer, but that's all right. Lead off with him. It's okay. Fine. What are my subjects? Uh, it's the Loch Ness Monster. Oh, Loch Ness Monster again. So we yeah. continue this? No, this is your counterpoint. Unless you counterpoint. Wait, wait. No, 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 yeah, another, yeah, yeah. another topic. Oh, another topic? All right. Oh, all right. I'll, I'll counterpoint that motherfucker. Right, I hate right, that wait, bastard. What about you? What? You. Death penalty. Okay, oh, come on. Guys, no, come on. Everybody in here today. First is molestation. <laughs> then is abortion. <laughs> it is... All right, right the here. Don't, don't forget the corpse getting the Hummer. I was right. with that. I, I was with that All one. All right. Sorry, we went from the heaviness of the death penalty to the levity of Dr. Kevorkian. Uh, right here. I don't like that one. One more. One more. Okay. Like Cleopatra. Cleopatra it is. All right, here we go. <laughs> the heavy use of cursing in Cleopatra. Just say, just say next slide as soon as you're ready. Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my presentation on Cleopatra, subtitled, That Backstabbing Bitch Ruined Egypt. Let's go. First side. Here we see a size of Cleopatra's preferred penis size from her partners, beginning in the early histories of her domain, and finally ending up with uh, Mark Anthony right there in the green, girthy middle. Next slide. This guy was there for the cusp, the very beginning, the burgeoning beginning of the internet, and he was the first person to beat off to Cleopatra internet porn <laughs> while he was studying for doctorhood. <laughs> Next slide. <laughs> this Cleopatra cosplay <laughs> won the grand prize at last year's parade and costume ball. <laughs> that guy's gonna do some nasty shit to that fish later on. <laughs> Look at the look in his eyes. He's like, that's a trout, motherfucker. That trout's gonna get used up. Next slide. <laughs> <laughs> Cleopatra did not opt for the extras on any of her vehicles. She was like, bumpers, suck a bag of dicks. I ain't paying for no fucking bumpers. This is how she got the nomaker, suck a bag of dicks, Cleopatra. <laughs> Next slide. <laughs> Sadly, following her untimely death many centuries ago, a slowly burgeoning Cleopatra cult came out of nowhere, and they celebrate with penis-shaped musical instruments made out of gourds, apples, and whatever this guy's doing underneath the camera. I don't even want to know what's going on. He's, look, look, Mom, I'll suck them all. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Scott Sigler! <laughs> Now, uh, we, were, we were told before that uh, 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 Watcha, you wanted to step up to the plate and, and take one of these presentations, right? I did until um... long. <laughs> uh, here, do me, do me a favor, I switch. Uh, yeah, 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 here, so, uh, switch spots uh, with, with Scott so you can see the computer here. <laughs> All right, whatchamacallit, let's figure out what you're presenting on. Let's hear your ideas. Please right not here. Cleopatra again in dicks. Like, that's just <laughs> not my forte, guys. What's that? Oedipus. Who oh boy. Oh my God. <laughs> George Washington? You know what? I'll take that one. Sex oh! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, presenting on the subject of sexually suggestive wow. children's cartoons, <laughs> it's what call it. You ready? Just say next slide. Uh, uh. Next slide. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening, and first off, we would like to talk about the Venn diagram about uh, this is where sperm and this is where the egg goes, and um, 
in the middle, that's where a penis goes. And <laughs> if you look close, you can look at it. That looks like Walt Disney uh, Mickey Mouse, if you really want to see from the very beginning. <laughs> next slide, next slide. Who the fuck decided these slides, man? <laughs> you guys do acid. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is when Garfield doesn't like Mondays. This is the main reason why he doesn't like Mondays. Next slide. What the fuck? You guys are sick as shit. <laughs> you guys are sick as shit. Before green screen, um, you know, the Flintstones. <laughs> Next slide, man. You guys are not helping. What the fuck is that? Now, <laughs> If you don't like any, uh, I don't know where to go with this. This is like. I just feel so sad, first off. I feel sad for the audio listeners who are missing out on this photo of Batman marrying Mrs. Doubtfire to Bubba Fett. It's amazing. <laughs> it's like he's been hunting her for so long and he found the perfect woman throughout all the galaxies. It's a man-woman. Next slide, please. He's Next slide. He finally found a slave, too. <laughs> Although this could have been a cartoon, welcome to Sabrina the Teenage Witch. <laughs> Next slide. I think that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Watch my Watch your McCollin. This is the hardest. Oh my God. I want to know. I want to know who, who picked these pictures, man. Who's the sick <laughs> motherfucker? That, that's that's your hand Patrick up. Patrick Dillahanty. Sick motherfucker. It's amazing. I mean, in the way that. Floss just reacted to what you're trying to describe those pictures. I feel like that's going to be the first five minutes of every Turquoise Jeep concert from, every, <laughs> from here on. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, you want me to give it a try? Of course I do. All right. What are we, what are we going to do it on? Dysentery. Oh, dysentery. Okay. All right. That's fine. Let's take it home. Dysentery. Uh, no, come on. No, 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 oh, yeah, no, sorry. no. no. Jesuit education. Let's keep going. Prohibition. Prohibition. TSA. TSA. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, listen, I don't know about you guys, but I've had a few run-ins with the TSA. Anyone else have a run-in with the TSA? Yeah. I know a lot of people say they're an unconstitutional force that violates your Fourth Amendment rights, but I think the next slide will show you that I am wrong. <laughs> uh, you'll notice the frequency and intensity with which the TSA violates your Fourth Amendment rights. <laughs> but, but what you don't realize is how much they'd care, and I think this, this really shows it. <laughs> this is Bessie. She was flying on Spirit Airlines. She didn't know that they charged for water, and yet the TSA, they rubbed her butt. This is Gertrude. Uh, she works for the TSA. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> The TSA is a many-faced institution. <laughs> it's not a wild, out-of-control bureaucracy that's been a waste of, of our time for 15 years. In fact, I like to think of the TSA as this. <laughs> <laughs> I rest my case. I'm Brian Brushwood, and that's the TSA. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't even know that we have to take a poll from the audience. I think we all lost on that one, right? Uh, I know who I'm voting for. Uh, uh, do you guys want to vote on this? Yeah. <laughs> you're like, asshole, you're the one in charge of the show. <laughs> all right. If you believe that whatchamacallit had the best presentation, make some noise. 
What about Scott Sigler? What about me? And what about DSA by Brian Brushwood? Wait, who's Brian? You're booing me? I, I assume you're booing the TSA, and that's fine. That's fine. Uh, congratulations to Justin Robert Young for being an asshole. <laughs> Could you vote against that last slide? That was like perfect. It was, that was perfect, like it was a perfect setup too. I that was that was like blind. a blindfolded 360 yeah, degree dunk. Was that was mm -hmm. great. All right, I just want to see what else he had in here. We had a car. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> we, we got, oh God damn it. <laughs> I don't even know. Hold on. I seriously don't know how he got that photo. <laughs> This was this was for a press shoot. I don't. Uh, all right. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. <laughs> all right. Man. One more round of applause for Patrick Dillahanty for putting that together. That was amazing. Uh, we only have time for one more game, and it is one that we love very, very dearly because it captures a lot of the passion that happens here at Dragon Con, and it involves one of our favorite things to do, drunken arguing. Uh, so let's go ahead and play our cosplay Thunderdome. Here's the game. If you are currently in costume of any variety, stand up. Stand up, stand up. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to select, each of us is going to select one avatar, and we're going to argue on the behalf of each of them. Uh, let's see. Wait, hold on, you don't get, shut up. <laughs> All right, I see, uh, I see so many different awesome costumes. I see a Rick back there. Uh, each of Holy us on the shit. panel are going to pick out one of our favorites. <clears throat> I'm going to jump ahead of the line and pick Louise from Bob's Burgers. Get on up here, Louise. Woo! That was one of my uh, favorites. I, I don't think that there is anybody that I can pick other than Mahoy, Captain Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Scott. What, uh, what is the uh, Fletch Lives Fro in the back? What is this costume here? Uh, oh, that is Afro Deadpool. Afro Deadpool. Afro Deadpool. Afro Deadpool. Right on. Uh, turquoise Jeep, uh, would you like to select a, a costume? Can we do three? Uh, <laughs> yes, you sure. can do three. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know what she is, but she's revealing herself right there with the tattoos. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, wh wh what are you, by the way? <laughs> Floss is who, just picking out just, just, who are you? just random chicks. Just like <laughs> random chances, baby. Solid I don't, Snake back there. What's Solid Snake? That's Solid Snake? Oh, come up here, right? <laughs> you both come up here? Dude, he's, he's putting together oh, an yeah. Avengers over here. What is this? Uh, all right, uh, watch it. Who you got? The bunny that was by Deadpool. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. She know who she is. I mean, I'm detecting a bit of a theme here, right? I mean, this is... This is Anything Look, goes. this has heretofore been an uncorruptible game. Anything yeah. goes. Anything. I feel like it's taking a dark turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, are, uh, here. <laughs> You're new. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? They told me. Oh, and now you're snitching. <laughs> All right. All right. I don't know how are we normally this is a, a, a tournament. It's gonna be it's gonna have to be three on one. I, I I'll tell you what, let's take the three of them versus Captain Morgan for round one. All right. Three of you guys get together the three that were picked by Turquoise Jeep. Now here's what you guys gotta do is describe why your team of uh <laughs> Okay, so what it was uh what what is it? Solid Solid Snake, Afro Deadpool, and nope. I don't know what nope. you are, Afro but Deadpool, you got some Afro, tattoos. Nope. Afro, De Afro, Deadpool Afro Deadpool belongs to Scott Sigler. Come on. Uh, Solid Snake, Bunny Girl, and what, what are you? I'm uh, from the Terran Empire, the Mirror Universe episode of Star Trek. 
She's you from see? the Terran Empire. See? The Mirror Universe episode see, early in Star Trek. I swear to God, do not lie to me, geek Floss. Credit, don't act like you knew that who that was. That is some fucking serious old school geek I knew credit. I what I'm saying. I promise right. I knew she was. All right, I did. you know what? Uh, we're going to start with Scott Sigler. <laughs> or actually, Justin, why don't you give your case for why Captain Morgan would win this battle? Uh, 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 well, I mean, why would I, why would I describe how Captain Morgan would win this battle when Captain Morgan can speak for himself. Oh my gosh, wait, ladies and gentlemen, is it, is it true? Is Captain Morgan here? Mahoy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for you, Brian. Oh, Captain Morgan, it's, uh, I can't believe you would show up at Dragon Con. I'm ready to punch him all in the face. I'm gonna punch him all in the face, Brian! Hold on, hold on. Captain Morgan, you realize. I'm gonna punch him, Solid Snake! <laughs> I'm gonna punch the afro right off Deadpool's head! <laughs> and as for. As for the one lady. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about the lady from the mirror. I'm universe. gonna beat her up so bad that not even Flint Flossy <laughs> during Pond Far would wanna hit it. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, well, Captain Mike Morgan. Mic drop, Captain's out. <laughs> all right, um, Team Turquoise Jeep, if you guys could get on the mic, uh, <laughs> maybe you could explain why you put together your team and why they would defeat Captain Morgan. Why would they defeat Captain Morgan? Yeah. Solid Snake. I would come up to Captain Morgan. <laughs> slowly. Slowly, while his back is turned. <laughs> slowly. 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 Uh, <laughs> I'll choke Captain Morgan, but not really choke her. No, not really choke her. <laughs> I'll back up. I'll back up. I'll, I'll, back, I'll back up. I'll back up some more. <laughs> I'll back up some more. <laughs> then I'll pose. And I'll say, Captain Morgan, turn around. Captain Morgan, turn around. <laughs> and then after that, after that, <laughs> After that, I may shoot Captain Morgan. <laughs> and I'll pose. And then I'll dance. <laughs> then I'll dance. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. And I guess the other two just oh, watched. Yeah. <laughs> apparently, yeah, apparently there's only one worker on the team. <laughs> he's, got, he's got two teammates. All right, ladies and gentlemen, how many of you guys think the, the Kmart Avengers would win? <laughs> How many guys think Captain Morgan would win? 50-50. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> First round elimination. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you guys so much for coming up. You sullied the name. You call them the Kmart Avengers. You sullied the name. That's <laughs> <laughs> So now it's not, it's not yeah. kind of more, See, oh, man, this, is what, this is what happens you when you don't brand, you, you don't get a leg up on the branding. You leave it to the promoters. All right. Uh, all right. So we got, uh, 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 oh. Far left and uh, fro. Fro. Louise. Louise Belcher, ladies Bring and gentlemen. We're going to need that. Uh, all right. So, Brian, no, why you do you. With it. You come with it. Oh, uh, oh, no, 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 here. Brian, Brian will go. Brian, why do you believe that uh, uh, she will win? Uh, number one. All right. First of all, how many of y'all are familiar with Louise Belcher? <laughs> this clown's gonna make some wink at the camera. He's gonna cut off an arm, it'll grow back and all that. She, meanwhile, will have corrupted everything he's ever loved. <laughs> She's gonna make him regret living and make you laugh while he's doing it. She's more aware of the audience than he is. My vote is for Louise Belcher, 2016. <laughs> Compelling. A rather compelling statement by my colleague, Brian Brushwood. Oh, you don't make this part. You want to make this about the two of us? <laughs> Louise, take him out. Oh, shit. Now my life is ruined, too. <laughs> this is no good. Okay, I just got pointed at. <laughs> I got pointed at with the double gun fingers, but what she doesn't have in those hands is two sharp, pointy swords that Afro man party rock person has. <laughs> And also, we have two swords. He's 6'2", six 6'8", six with the afro. <laughs> That's a compelling stat for any all-star team in my book. 
Also, turn around and flash that Hello Kitty, son. Yes! Yes! As he's doing his keggles and butt scrunches, he knows that Kitty's got his back. <laughs> Finally, sir, come up here with this wonderful boombox, Wade. Let us see what you have. Also, highest grossing X-Men film ever. Don't, you know, <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> no big deal from some of the shit shows that were in that series. All right. Hit, <laughs> play something. To Harry, Jose, and more will all be in compound. Make sure you are there. Stand up! RSVP in compound. Make sure you're oh. in compound, bitches! That's my whole argument. I close with the boombox. <laughs> That's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it happens. <laughs> uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, if you believe that, Belcher wins. If you believe LMFAO, Deadpool wins. Oh, oh man. All right, uh, well, we have our tiebreaker based on the terrible uh, boombox. Belcher moves on. Whoa! Say anything, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, I, right. I, don't think, I don't think in the eight year history of us doing this, it's, it's ever come, come down, down to, me to the two of yeah. huh? mm. All right. Mm. Hey, remember how we won the movie draft together? That was pretty great. It was. We beat, uh, we beat all the teams together. Yeah. Together. As a Together unit. forever. Friends mm. till the end. Mm -hmm. I'm going to fucking slay you. <laughs> you want to go first? No. <laughs> <laughs> go, <laughs> uh, Captain Morgan. Captain Morgan, I understand you have some words for the esteemed Louise Belcher. You want to you just lay, lay it all on the table? <laughs> I once was a belcher. <laughs> Wait, I, mean, by, by which... I went down to the belcher house and I said, I'm your king now. <laughs> well, I, I can't uh, imagine that went over very well. With it the... went over well when I was there. I said, hey, you. <laughs> and they were like, all right, enough said. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Can, can I get a, uh, uh, Louise, can you indicate, uh, did that happen? Uh, oh, she, uh, you're being called a liar. Uh, she's being called a bitch. <laughs> Man, that's 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 quite a that's quite a take on a on a preteen little girl. Captain, don't play that. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, I'm here to answer your questions. All right, all right. What else? All right, look at her. She's got her pink ears. What do you want to hear? I don't, how about if she's so big I can whisper it? Fuck you. <laughs> Hold on. All right, all right. Real quick, Captain Morgan, yeah. real talk. Let's press pause on this whole contest thing. Okay. Why, why, are, why, why are you here, man? Why am I? Why yeah, are no, you here? Why would you come to Dragon? I Park? love dragons. <laughs> I love them all. I love blue dragons. No, I, I love green dragons. Okay, but there's, there's... I love dragging them nuts, if you know what I mean. All right. No. Captain. Captain, you're the commander of a sea vessel. Yo, don't... Captain, don't step on the captain's laugh line. <laughs> All right, no, no, no. I, I mean, but, but, but you're supposed to be out there at sea smuggling booty. I'm, well, listen. You seen these costumes? <laughs> All right. Why do you got to smuggle anything when it's out there in the public? Captain's got two fists, and they're both... Uh, sorry, I've been <laughs> drinking. <laughs> anyway, right. I win. <laughs> <laughs> right, you can't just announce you win. If you believe the captain wins, say yeah! <laughs> I'm sorry, Louise. It sounds like the captain won. Let's hear it for Captain Morgan! Let's hear for Louise Belcher, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh. Captain, 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 Cheap Pop, Cheap Pop, Cheap Pop. Captain, don't play that. 
<laughs> all right, real quick, let's let's do a little bit of plugs. Uh, let's start with Turquoise Jeep. Where can where can everybody see all of your amazing materials? Um, we're right on the spot. Damn, is, is it over? Is that, <laughs> yeah, man, that's an hour. That's baby. an hour, baby. All right, cool. Uh, guys, follow us on uh, YouTube, Turquoise Jeep. Follow us on our Instagram at Turquoise Jeep Music. Subscribe to us on YouTube again one more time. At Turquoise Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> Open another account. Subscribe to YouTube. <laughs> Please do it. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on. Uh, and if you want to buy merch and everything, TurquoiseJeep.com. Go there. We have all for everything for our shows that's going to be happening as well as merch. Love you guys. Thank y'all. Yeah. Okay, wait. I got a question. How many people here are fans of Turquoise Jeep? Oh, shucks. You might know of this man right here, Flint Flossie, because if you go on the Twitter app and just open their gift section, he is the standard dancing happy gif. Hold on, let me do, let me do this. Can I do this on the internet here? It, it's true. Uh, I think it's I think true. it's in, I think it's the the mobile app. Uh, oh, yeah, but, I guess not. Uh, if you are not down with Turquoise Jeep, you need to get them in your life immediately. Uh, please do it one more time for what you call it. Flint Flossie and Pierre Cashmere of Turquoise Jeep. Listen, it, it, it's, it's amazing. There's like, there's no emotion that cannot be uh, expressed by you popping that one move uh, via GIF. Uh, yep. It is amazing. At some point, it's going to load. Yeah, we don't have the internet. Who cares? And we're all Just gonna, picture Flint Flossy dancing. It's adorable. We're all going to come simultaneously. Uh, <laughs> uh, Scott Sigler. Yeah. Yes. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Do it live. Do oh. it live. <laughs> I'm sorry, Scott. <laughs> so you know anyway. when, it, when I can do that move, I won't be interrupted. So there you go. <laughs> uh, Scott, thank you so much uh, again for joining us. It is always just, just a, leave them up. Leave that shit up. Uh, no, I, I'm just Don't take it down center. on my there account. Leave it right there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there you go. You always have uh, a million different things going on. How yes. can people hold, uh, hold get I, in? Hold on. Is there a chance that he could teach that to Scott right now live? <laughs> I mean, can we? I, I didn't hear the question. I didn't. It question. won't go well, but I'll give it a shot. <laughs> Do you want to see Scott try that move? <laughs> All right, Floss. Do it. Floss, walk. Do it. Talk, talk him through it. Talk him through it. On on the mic. It's an audio podcast. There you go. You Although, by the way, is this not the best buddy cop movie that's never been made? <laughs> <laughs> go back to back. <laughs> Damn it, Flint, why do you gotta break the rules all the time? <laughs> I'm getting too old for this shit. <laughs> ah, that's it. Oh, so good. I'm subscribed already. All right, what, what are the moves? What's going through your head for this? All right, first you gotta get your swag on, right? You get gotta your get swag your swag on. on, right? Yes. Give me a little angle right here, right? Okay. Right? Angle. Now yeah. we're gonna roll, roll. Yeah, man, that's uh. <laughs> yeah, that's almost there. That's all. Let's try it again. So it's roll, roll, clap, roll, roll, clap, roll, roll, clap. <laughs> Woo! That, that's gonna better than I thought good. it would go. That's for sure. That's good. That's good. I, I think thought one of my that. nuts might fall the fuck off when I tried it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Scott, where can people get more of your stuff? Yeah. So it's anyway, he- Scott, your literature. <laughs> As a learned man of letters who just ground my sack about the table, <laughs> uh, you can find me at scottsigler.com. I still give away all my audiobooks for free as serialized podcasts. Go to iTunes, search for Scott Sigler, at Scott Sigler on Twitter, at Scott Sigler on Instagram, and in fine bookstores and book retailers all over the globe. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, 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 Johnny. Do you like to be scared? Then you should find my shit. Also, you ever been in a Turkish prison, Johnny? Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, if you are not uh, down with Scott Sigler, yeah, yeah. Uh, please, again, do that immediately. Your life will be greatly enriched if you are uh, reading Scott Sigler while listening to Turquoise Jeep. 
Uh, Brian, this is our seventh Dragon Con, and it has now come to a close. Dude, it's been nothing less than magical. Seven more years! All of this has been made possible by you guys, the Chat Realm Diamond Club community. You guys have made all of our dreams come true. We love you. Do me a favor. Die in a fire. See you next Tuesday! All right, guys. Uh, uh, we got a bunch of Diamond Club uh, sticker packs and contender games over by our table. Brian and I are going to run out over there and sign each and every one of them for you guys. See you guys next year. Sunni. Night attack, night attack, night attack, night attack, night attack, night attack, I love you. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>